All right, all right, ladies, gentlemen, citizens of the Empire, welcome back to Assassin's Creed Syndicate, and welcome back to London. We're just uh, over here with Jacob. I got a sink point just like right up above that church there, and we're about to uh, murder another Templar. Kill him with a hidden blade. Is he underground? What? There he is. Ah, oh, shit. Hello. Ah, oh, damn it. There we go. Here we go, come on, come here. Okay. I doubt that counts as hit killing him with a hidden blade. Come on. And time to go. Yeah, 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 I know, whatever. Okay. And we're heading right up here. What is this? A bounty on mission. Okay. Let's hit that first, though. Let's do the regular one first. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Walk on, girl. That's the way. Okay, maybe we're about to pass. Oh, God. <laughs> Whoa, not. This pretty quickly. Come here. Today's your lucky day. Fucking take him! Shoot! Count on me, Jacob. Kick her ass there, buddy! Did not mean to kill him. Okay. Is is he down there? Nope, that's not gonna work. Oh, it gets in the cover automatically. Stop like stress, boss. So where the hell is he? Oh boy. Where's the dude I'm supposed to be kidnapping? He's got to be underground. Come 
I supposed to get him out of here? What you want from me? Are you with the police? Are you a copper? Nah. Keep it down. I don't deserve to hang. You won't get the death penalty, chap. But you sure as hell can't bail out of a routine arrest for theft. They'll kill me in there. Murderers get a bad reputation in prison, Mr. Bacchus. You stole a couple of diamonds. You'll make out all right. <laughs> Just... He's just toying with him, okay. Come on, it's all right. I recommend you stop struggling. All right, here's hoping he stays quiet before she turns all the way around. Shh, not one word. Come on, up the hill. I'd rather not hurt you. Don't think I won't. Alright, I guess we're going this way. Oh shit, really? I don't require a reason to be. Okay. Come on, just a little bit. Get a little don't quick. Don't call for Get help. Through. Get through. There you go. Get me out! You! You're Lord with me. me. Alright! Oh, wait, just back up. Wait, where, where am I going? Steady on. This way, okay. Let's go. And then I can just go around the corner down to the uh, site we need to go That's to. That's a girl. Oh god. I don't know what I can break through. I'll take it easy on him. Thank you. Okay. Although I see you two over here and I kind of want to loot your corpses, so. Oh, what? You don't have any loot? That's bullshit. That's bull. All right. Playing cricket. <laughs> and here we go. Wait, what was this? Kill the criminals. Hi, boys. <laughs> Bye, boys. Them. Alec, whatever is the matter? I have been intercepting nothing but poppycock propaganda about soothing syrup and whatnot. No, I swear to high heavens, if Starrick's monopoly continues... Alec, 
I beg your pardon? These are friends of mine. Evie Fry and her brother, Jacob. Oh, um... Alexander Graham Bell. Linguist, inventor, and technical expert. Alec, I have something of a favor to ask you. Can you fix this? Oh, looks like the casing is cracked. Oh! Comes apart. <laughs> I see. Could have used one of these to fit my fuses on top of Big Ben. Alec is installing a new telegraph line for our Free Press Association. To combat the static telegraph company. Now, if I can mend the fuses connecting independent lines from Big Ben, Staric will be weakened. Only, we are somewhat at a handicap. And, there. Oh, I've removed the mechanism, so it may work with your bracer. I'll put it to use immediately. <laughs> Jacob, wait. Mr. Bell, allow me to help you with your fuses. Oh, you will not find me too proud to accept Miss Fry. Oh, uh, we can use my carriage, if you'd be so good as to hold the reins, though. I'll take that. Um, I, I can help you. Oh, Miss Fry, I am so glad you could assist me. Okay, sweet. Hanging out with Alexander Graham Bell. So, Mr. Bell, what inventions are you concocting? I intend to develop a phonetic telegraph that does not just convey dots and dashes, Miss Fry, but the human voice. Phonetic telegraph? Hmm. Sounds a bit of a mouthful. You could just call it a telephone. Telephone? <laughs> How bizarre. Anyway, as I was saying earlier, the press has become entirely dependent <laughs> on the static telegraph company. Which is why Mr. Green has asked you to set up a free line. Yes. What's more, other small independent companies have had their lines sabotaged, and they have little means of finding any broken fuses, which are... To be found on top of Big Ben. Correct. Especially as one so, needs a special government pass to get on. through the guards. Oh, God. They will not be a problem. I'm in the middle of the street. Of fuses. Okay, I guess you're staying right there. Rope launcher. Okay. There's one down here. Alright, we're gonna fix this one. Lovely view. Zip it across Big Ben, uh, well, the house is not really. Just on a zip line. Love it. And for the lap, quit asking me to leap a fa- oh dear god. Can I reach that one? Slower, okay. I thought I would have to type real cross. Mm. 
It's a very weird angle. <laughs> Gravity would not allow this. Oh my god. So, right over here. How do I get in? That should do it. Where is he? Like where we left them? Oh dear god. Is there really no place I can... Alright, I guess we're gonna have to go take this piece by piece. My God. Here we go. Up, Evie. Up. Oh, my God. What are you stuck for? Go up. we go. Oh shit. Do not want to get into an altercation with the guards. Down we go. Oh god. Please do not see me. Thank you very much, Miss Fry. I will now be able to continue with the installation of the new line. If there's anything else I can do to help... But, certainly. Please do come and visit. Oh, uh, I was toying with this device and have noted down the formula for you. It, it's not perfect yet, but by golly, it works. Okay, so he made a smoke bomb. Wait, what is going on? Let's see if I can get up here, because I want to get this sink point. One more time. Maybe not one more, but it, you know, two. Okay, um, 
Now what's left? Oh, we're in Westminster, and this is level 9, so let's get out of here. Because we're only 3, I think? Oh, that's literally part of the next mission. Oh, no. Climb trees. We do not climb trees. Excuse me, pardon me, I cannot drive a horse and carriage. Then again, I don't need a driver's license in this period, so I can do whatever I want. Slow down. And, and it's just gone. It's just gone, okay. Assassinated guard from a zip line. Froze for like half a sec. Wait, what's okay? <sighs> and do I have any knives? Yes, I do. going for the nuts, doesn't she? Hello, officer. You there. That Shush. Okay. Can't do that. Can't do that. Smoke bomb upgrade. Yes, let's do it. Oh god, I was supposed to craft a throwing knife upgrade. Um, yep. There we go. And now we leave.
Only a fool is he who takes the ground instead of the sky. Oh god! That's a bit too close there. Ah, Miss Fry! Uh, I was just showing Jacob the first message was received via the mended lines. Oh, uh, you can keep the rope launcher, by the way. Um, we've managed to procure another one for your brother. Excellent work. Thank you, again. You're very welcome, Mr. Bell. We can now defend the principle of impartial news and free speech. Free is fair, but free and brief is far better. Ha <laughs> ha! Ah, Fry, such caustic wit. <laughs> and on that note, we must depart. <laughs> Oh, uh, good fortune to you both. Uh, call on me at uh, any time. All right. Now that we've finished with that distraction. Who is that? Oh, you mean you don't know? Beautiful train you got here. Miss McBean was just telling me all about her. Name's Ned. How do you do? I won't take up more of your time. Uh, if you want to learn a thing or two about the finest transit systems in the world, you can find me at this address. Let us return to locating the Peace of Eden. We need to reclaim London from Staric. Who are my targets? It's not time for that yet. I didn't come to London to hunt curios. First understand the dance, only then become the dancer. Oh, so you're taking over where father left off. Someone has to. Evie, finding the precursor artifact will give us an insight into what the temple is intended. Jacob, I have information about Starek's associates that should be of use to you. Here. Okay, conquering London. Also, I knew I knew there was a trans character in this game and just nobody believed me. Nobody believed me. Okay. This soothing syrup has become the only medicine available in Lambeth. It bears the Templar Grandmaster's name. About time for a visit to the doctor. I don't see that cure arriving any time soon. And what exactly will you be doing, might I ask? You know very well. Tracking down the Peace of Eden. Enjoy your studies. I'll be out killing Templars. Wait, is that a... is that a train mission? We have a... hold on. Or is that just the train? Now I gotta check out the new outfit. Let's see, inventory. Oh, it's certainly better than the one we got. We need to do something about your outfit. Alright, so what do we got? What do we got exactly? Rig use vault. What is this? Associate activities. Robert Topic. Let's check that out. Since we're here. Come on. Jump. Jacob. There we go. Climb up the roof. Guess that works. All right. 
Getting pretty close. I can't launch this thing across the street, can I? Yes, I can. This is a level six area, Jesus. Wait, so this is this greater city of London. The train. What's this? Dreadful crimes, huh? Okay. We've got two missions down here: cable news and a spoonful of syrup. We've got what was that? Charles Dickens. And Nate Weinert? How, do, how the hell do you say that? Right, let's, uh... You know what? I want to do a dreadful crime. It's right below us, too. Lovely. Going very badly, isn't it? It certainly doesn't have the makings of a ripping good novel. What happened here? Ah, the charming and delightful Fry twins. Have we met? Mr. Raymond knows everyone. He knows everything about this city. He writes it all up in his books. I'm Henry Raymond, writer of third rate, lurid stories, penny dreadfuls, if you will. And this is Little Artie. Mr. Raymond takes real murders and makes them so awfully exciting. The guilty always get caught. There's one unfolding just here. Perhaps one of you would like to try your hand in solving it. Okay. All right, dreadful crimes. To find the murderer, use Eagle Vision to search investigation zones. For clues, interrogate every suspect. Press options. Oh, go to the progressions log to find the uh, evidence and accuse the guilty suspect to solve the case and collect your reward. Be careful, though, false accusations <sighs> will reduce the award. Okay. I do find crime so delightfully entertaining, don't you? I mean, solving crimes, of course. Finding a solution is exhilarating. Okay, well, I think that might have been a clue. Speak to Mr. Freems. I arrived to find the foreman dead, and the lad duly with bloody hands. No one's been able to find the murder weapon and arrest the murderer. Could you sort it out quickly? It's holding up the work. They're a rough bunch, but someone has to keep the kids in line. I just wish the grown-ups would quit fighting each other. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. All right. He owns the factory. Hello. Deep stab wound in the chest. A bandana obscures the victim's face. Hey, kid, what do you know? Wait, that's not... Is that a kid? Yeah, that's a kid. I thought the shadow was a... Was a, uh... A beard. He knocks me to the ground and give me a kick. I find me work knife under me and grab it. I lift me hands to protect myself. And he knocks me out with a punch. Later on, I wakes up. And the man's lying there. Dead. Okay, so you were gonna stab him, but you didn't. 
He's my brother. He don't like to work hard, so one of the workers give him a thrashing. I tried to stop it, and he stops hitting Buck and starts hitting me. Okay. Well, let's speak to Buck. When I come back, the man's lying dead, and there's Dooley holding a knife. Please don't arrest him. I was standing there, having a think, when a fella come at me and give me a thumping. Dooley tries to stop him, and he thrashes Dooley. I run out to find help. Okay. Let's see if we can find the n Hello. Small knife with an initial D crudely scratched into it, into the handle. Okay. Now that I've seen this, <coughs> I should ask more questions. Yep. And there's also a third piece of evidence we haven't found yet. That's Dooley's knife, all right. He never lent it to nobody. Okay. I can't ask him directly about the knife. Oh, all right. What about you, Mr. Frames? No? I can literally only ask one person about it. <coughs> what about if we investigate the body again? Nothing. All right, well, we're missing something. And it looks like the knife is Broken? Alright, let's take a look. Um, progression log. <coughs> That's it. That's all we got. Claims he returned to find the body, to find the man dead and duly holding a knife. Dooley claims he was suddenly accosted and beaten. Uh, his brother... Wait, no, no. Wait, yeah, Dooley. Dooley claims he was suddenly accosted and beaten. His brother, Dooley, tried to... That That's written weird, or maybe I'm reading it weird. <coughs> uh, tried to stop the beating and, uh, and the beating... And was beaten in return. Buck ran to find help. The knife confirms th that it's Dooley's knife. Uh, states that Dooley wouldn't lend it to anyone. <sighs> Buck's brother. Body claims that he was not. Uh, claims that he was knocked on the ground and he found the knife uh, and lifted lifted it up. Then. Uh, was knocked out by a punch from the victim, awakened to find the man dead. Yeah, that doesn't really. Cause if if, if um if Buck found him standing there with the knife out, huh? Identifies uh, okay, so Buck identifies Buck's his brother. Uh, Dooley tried to stop the work. From, okay. Claims he arrived to find Mr. W find Wilkins already dead, Dooley with blood on his hands. Workers mention um, mentions that the workers are rough, often fight with one another. Okay. Well, there's a there's a third piece of evidence somewhere, and I keep feel feeling the controller vibrate, so it's got to be somewhere near. See, like, right about here. Anything with these barrels or Wait, let's 
Yeah, that's the knife, and the knife does look a little broken. What am I missing? It, it does it say uh, it says I'm missing a clue. Can I talk to you again? Ah, hello. Okay, it has come to our attention that one of uh, uh, your workmen, a certain Mr. Colton, has been beating child laborers. Our society finds this to, uh, to be a matter of concern. As you do, as do you, no doubt, please take action to curtail the practice, Miss. Okay. Oh, let's. Nope, didn't mean to do that. Let's ask a little bit about this. Nope. Can't ask anything about that. Nope. Alright, Jacob, calm down. <laughs> <laughs> I can't ask him any, anything about it either. So, okay, hold on. So what if I ask you a question again? He knocks me to the ground and give me a kick. I find me work knife under me and grab it. I lift me hands to protect myself, and he knocks me out with a punch. Later on, I wakes up, and the man's lying there, dead. How you doing, Charlie? So, so he knocked you out. Let's consult the evidence again. Letter. Okay, so it just tells me that. Wait, whose bandana is it? Is it his? Yeah, I can't ask you anything about it either. I mean... I kind of think Buck did it. Wait a minute, can I talk to... Can I talk? Oh god. I cannot. Okay. Th okay, this is Buck. I was too scared to do anything. Okay. I kill a perfectly productive worker. Okay, so it's the obvious. Me? No! Oh, no, no, no. Not so quickly. You have indeed solved this murder, according to the facts at hand. However, right. Artie, what advice would you give? I would encourage you to look beyond the obvious. Beyond surface appearances. Try again. Use your powers to peer more deeply and see what you can discover. Okay, so what's this? Let's see. Footprints. Medium sized wood boots it? imprinted over the coal dust. Oh, hello. Closely. And who might you be? Me and Wilkins was working out here. We heard screaming. Wilkins went to see what it was about and never come back. I went to see for myself, and there he was, dead. I didn't stick around. Somebody might think I'd done it. 
Okay, what about the bandana? The strange thing is, Wilkins weren't wearing no bandana when I was talking to him. Only the workmen in the brewery wear bandanas. You should talk to Morris there. Looks like we got a new suspect. Oh god, the kid followed me. <laughs> What's this? <laughs> Inspect one of these. More footprints, large. Cigarettes. I wonder if someone could tell me more about this. Well, I was inside the brewery all day. I wear me bandana in there. Man has to, what with all the smells and fumes. I don't much know who smokes here. Maybe Taylor. Cigarette might be his. Okay, so you don't smoke. So where did these footprints go? Anywhere? No? Let's check out the coal yard. I quit smoking months ago. You know, I saw somebody from the brewery having a smoke this morning. Didn't see what was so. Right. Okay. Wilkins and Bandana, let's go with Wilkins. Wilkins first. wasn't the type to beat the children. On the contrary, he was forever getting in fights trying to stop that sort of thing. Okay. The fumes can be a bit much in the brewery. When the men work in there, they wear bandanas. And last but not least... Cigarettes. Well, like I said, I was inside. Didn't get a chance to come out to smoke. Colton left, though. You can talk to him. He's working in the loading area just now. Okay. Now, let, let's check all three locations and make sure I found everything. Yep. Okay, just suspects. This, does this... Four, four out of five clues. Oh, here is this. This is new. Alright, so the imprint large. But it doesn't give me a, uh... The trail. Cigarettes. I should go back and ask about this. Well, hold on. How would the murderer have done it? I don't smoke. Never did. Oh, very well. So I do smoke now and then. What's the matter? Now, why would you lie to me about that? I was having a chat with one of the others when I heard a commotion and ran in there to find Wilkins dead. Poor bloke. Killed by that filthy little bastard that we feed and pay. Alright, Colton. I hear you. I hear you. Can't ask him about anything. Can't ask him about any... Oh no, it very clearly says, make an accusation. Hey, Colton. Well, hold on. Because he... It, it does not... It's not telling me what size shoe he wears. But, you know what? I... Screw it. I should be foreman here. Wilkins coddled the boys like a mother hen. He come along and stops me giving the boys a beating. Was much more difficult than it initially appeared. Well done. Up to the clink, will okay. you? Okay. Simple yeah. murder. I gotta love the penny dreadfuls. Let's get whatever. How do I get in here?
Okay. This is just cool. How do I get in here? I want to get the chest. Gotta be. Uh, no, it's not. It's actually up here. Sweet. All right. So. Train safe is nearly full. We're at seventy-five percent capacity. There's a train there, but what do we need to do next? We need to go down, nope, down here. Okay, so, yes, let's do that. Go on ahead. So, I do believe when we return, ladies and gentlemen, citizens of the Empire, we will continue on with the story and see what else we can get up to. But I thank you so much for watching. And if you enjoyed, please like, comment, subscribe. If you're on YouTube, on Twitch, drop me a follow if you haven't already. And I will see you all in a moment. Mm -hmm.